Spider-Man. Spider-men. Spider-people? Spider-things? Characters all across the Spider-Verse have different accents. Of course they do. We all do. Oh wait, wrong comic. If you have a mouth and you use it to speak, you have an accent. One of my favorite characters to listen to is... My name is Pravitra Krabaka. Today I want to break down Spider-Man's Indian accent played by Karanzoni by comparing it to other characters that Karanzoni has played, including Dopinder in the Deadpool movies. And if you stay till the end, I'm going to tell you the main thing to remember when you're listening to Indian accents speaking in English. If you have trouble understanding people who are from India, or you're from India and you have trouble communicating clearly and having people understand everything you say, I'm going to help you by understanding how to break down an Indian accent so you can understand and be understood more clearly. We can all train our ears to understand accents better, and we can raise what we call our tolerance for ambiguity. Why? To connect and to communicate better. I've helped people who work in call centers speak more clearly and more confidently, and I've also helped actors get specific roles which required a specific accent. So if you want to have more than one accent for yourself, make sure to sign up and come to my free live American accent workshop every month. If you sign up to my email in the description below, then you're also going to get some free bonus materials related to each workshop. Characters are what drives a story, and individual voices are a lot like fingerprints, but sometimes it's hard to put your finger on exactly what you're hearing. We got a collective email from a lot of our animators of Indian descent. They're like, we want to recognize more of the Indianness in it. We invited in Karen Sony. But they instead wanted me to be more involved in the shaping of the character. It was a real testament to the Indian animators who spoke up, and thank goodness they did, because he ended up great. I'm going to tell you four things that put together lend an Indianness to Karen Sony's Spider Man. You might know that Karen Sony grew up in New Delhi, but then moved to California as a young adult. And like a lot of people from India, English has been his main language for a really long time. We're all influenced by the people we spend the most time around. And in New Delhi, Hindi is spoken a lot. Plus, Karansoni speaks Hindi, so it's no wonder that some of that pronunciation and musicality transfers over between the different languages. There are about 20 different ways to say an R sound around the world. We often notice those slight differences between them. And we're not going to go through all of them today. He says his name like this. My name is Pravitra Krabhaka. Pravitra Krabhaka. Pravitra Krabhaka. But with my Americanized R's, it might sound like Pravitra Prabhakar. Pravitra Prabhakar. Pravitra Prabhakar. So in my accent, I bet you can hear that my R... Hold on, I have something that will help you. Okay, it's a little weird, but go with me on this. Yeah, here it is. Ta-da! Don't worry about it. In my accent, I bet that you can hear my r, r is different than his r, r. The tip of my tongue is, is further back and it's curled, whereas his is more forward and it taps the bump on the front of the mouth, right behind the teeth, that ridge there. R, 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 r. You might notice that his r almost sounds like my T when I say the word water, at least with an American accent. That T, we say it sometimes sounds like a D, but for most of the world, it actually sounds more like an R to them in their first language. So when I say water, r, r, water, 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 it's way closer to his R than it is for my R. We're going to listen to Karan Sony saying his name as the Indian Spider-Man, and what I want you to do is copy or try to tap your tongue against the ridge of your mouth and say his name the way that he does. My name is Pravitra Krabhaka. Pravitra Krabhaka. Pravitra Krabhaka. Pravitra Krabhaka. And I know that these combinations can be really complex. It's a combination of two sounds, in this case two consonants. So the first one is going to be a T and an R, and your tongue, at least in English, we hit that same ridge with our T sound. So what I want you to do is hit it with a T and then tap it as an R. T, r, t, r, t, r, t, r. And then for the PR combination, you're going to bring your lips together and with your tongue at the same time, you're going to tap that ridge inside your mouth. So p, p, r, r, pr, pr. I love talking about accents and I want to hear what you think. So what do you think when you watch this video? Does it make you think, oh, there's this other Indian actor that I've heard before. I want to talk about it. Tell me down below. And while you're down there, 
click on the link to save your seat to my free live American accent masterclass once a month on the last Thursday of every month. Okay, I've got four more for you to try. This time we're gonna mimic or shadow the character Dopinder from the Deadpool movies. Mm, nice. Gita, she is quite lovely. She would have made me a very agreeable wife. She would have made me a very agreeable wife. Me a very agreeable wife. Me a very agreeable wife. So work on tapping the ridge of your mouth with your tongue like that tea in water. That was <laughs> Bandhu it in the trunk, it in the trunk, it in the trunk, it in the trunk. Bandhu? My romantic rival Bandhu. Romantic rival Bandhu. Romantic rival Bandhu. I do want to live the dreams, pool boy. Do want to live the dreams, pool boy. Do want to live the dreams, pool boy. And try saying them both ways. You can try it the more Indian way, where the tip of your tongue taps the ridge, or more in the American way, where the tip is curled and a little bit farther back. Another thing that really sticks out to us is if the vocal folds or cords are vibrating or not. So we've already mentioned these P sounds, and have you ever noticed how the P and the B are made the same way in the mouth. P, P, B, B. But the only difference is that you're vibrating right here. P, P, B, B. You can literally feel the difference between these pairs in English. We have several pairs. We've got P, B, T, D, S, Z, F, V, F, V, K, G, Sh. Zh and ch, j. In a standard American accent, we don't like to have things in the middle. We like them either voiced or unvoiced. Either this vibration is on or it's off. We don't like anything in the middle of the road. No, make a choice, pick a lane. But you might notice how Karen and Sony's characters have these sounds sometimes in the middle, right? You can't really tell if it's voiced or if it's unvoiced. P's sound like B's. T's sound like D's. Being Spider-Man is so easy. I wake up, skip the workout because I'm naturally buff and I don't want to get too big, you know? Being Spider-Man is so easy. I wake up, skip the workout because I'm naturally buff and I don't want to get too big, you know? Being Spider-Man is so easy. I wake up, skip the workout because I'm naturally buff and I don't want to get too big, you know? Try it for yourself. Play with your voicing a little bit. Turn it off when it should be on. Turn it on when it should be off. For example, see if he says more wake g g up wake up or wake up. Being Spider-Man is so easy. I wake up, skip the workout. I wake up, skip the workout. I wake up, skip the workout. If you have a really good ear, you might have picked up on another little detail here. When the air comes out of my mouth for certain sounds, sometimes there's more air or less air. We have certain sounds where the air needs to explode, but the question is how much air there? We're gonna do what's called the paper test. Just rip a little piece of paper and you can see how much air is coming out. We're gonna do three sounds, a P, a T, and a K. P, T, K. The air should be moving the paper. If it's not, there's probably not enough air coming out. It might sound like this. That's not what we want. And it can also happen with the voiced versions of those sounds. So we had P and T and K. So B and D and G. There should be more air coming out. The problem is it's a little difficult to notice because all your energy is going right here and it's not going out your mouth. But there is a difference. You can have not enough air or just the right amount of air. If you're an actor or anyone looking to improve your accent, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell because I've got new videos coming out for you where we analyze movies and series in order to better learn accents. So, so far we've been talking about Karen Sony's Spider-Man and other characters with their noticeable pronunciation and accent features. But this is the number one thing that I need you to know. Hindi is a syllable stressed language. For me, it's like listening to someone type 100 words per minute. Sometimes I have a hard time following syllable stress languages. English is more of a timed stress language. Our keywords are stressed. And for me, that's kind of like a bass drum, keeping the rhythm. But on the other hand, you have syllable stress, possibly on the other words. So you have also like a snare drum beating randomly as well. Our rhythm systems are completely different. So for me, when I'm listening to Karen Sony speak in English, but sounding like that typewriter, it's very difficult to follow sometimes. I would say it more like this. 
Being Spider-Man is so easy. I wake up, skip the workout because I'm naturally buff and I don't want to get too big, you know? If you're listening to language one, but you're hearing the stress pattern of language two, that can cause a bit of interference and it might kind of trip you up. Being Spider-Man is so easy. I wake up, skip the workout because I'm naturally buff and I don't want to get too big, you know? You can really see how Caranzoni can turn off and turn on different specific accent elements to make a character sound more or less Indian. We all have the same hardware. We just need more awareness and practice. More importantly, we can all get better at listening. And don't worry, you've got me to help you out. I'm accent coach Bianca, and I'm on a mission to help people understand accents better. See you in the next video.